Hello everyone, this is Sans Vertigo, and it's been a while since I've made a video sort of involving myself in it. So today, we're going to walk through some maintenance on my 5 gallon tank. So this is my 5 gallon aquarium, uh, or 20 litre if you're in Australia, and right now I'm taking out a bunch of frog bit and totally disturbing everything because this frog bit grows the longest roots ever and it grows right into the substrate right through my plants and every time I pull it out it dislodges everything and makes a huge mess. The only reason why I have this frog bit in here is because the light is a bit strong, and this is a low-tech tank, so I kind of don't want to have algae all over, all over the place. This tank houses a single betta and a whole bunch of red cherry shrimp, and it's a pretty chill tank. The betta, for the most part, leaves the shrimp alone. Sometimes it gets curious about what they're eating, but Otherwise, they're pretty, pretty chill altogether. And today it seems like I'm doing a 40% water change, which is what I'm not supposed to do. I was supposed to do a 20% water change because I honestly don't need to change that much water in these aquariums because they're so heavily planted and I literally have zero nitrates in this water because of the frog bit. But I guess today it's 40%. I wasn't thinking. Oh, right, this so. So this happened. During the water change, I was drawing out some new water, and oh, look at that. My thermometer broke. I was trying to get the temperature of the tap water, and it shattered. I'm sick of glass thermometers. I am sick of them. Because every time, every time, I swear, I have broken so many thermometers during water changes. I don't know how many I've broken and replaced at this point, but I've had enough. I'm down to one thermometer because I broke another thermometer after filming this. So I am now going to use digital thermometers. Never again am I going back to glass. But for now, I'm sharing one thermometer between three tanks until I get digital thermometers. They should be arriving next week, so we'll see how that works out. I've never used them before, so I don't really know what's... I don't know. I All I know is I hear that they're more accurate, so there is that. I've always had a little bit of trouble reading glass thermometers because of the numbers next to the lines, and I'm just like, is that a 20, 22 or a 24? Is that... Is that 20 or 30. <laughs> I, I get very confused. So I think a digital thermometer will be a nice change. And I'll be going for the ones with probes, so it'll be like a little dinky probe in the corner that I don't have to look at. And then I can just check out the external reading thingo. I don't know what to call it. Anyway. I start filling up the tank at this point and I kind of notice, hey, all of the shrimp are out. And I think I only started off with maybe seven shrimp and last count was 15 shrimp. I'm pretty sure that there are more shrimp now. They just keep breeding very slowly, very slowly. But they always come out during water changes, which is nice to see because 
I always think, oh my god, I only have a few, sh a few shrimp. They're all, they're all dying. They're all going to disappear very slowly. And no, they're doing fine. Actually, there are a lot of shrimp. They're just, you know, in the plants where I can't see them. Nice. That's why I keep shrimp. So, I've at this point, I've probably spent a whole hour or two cutting the roots of the frog bit, sitting down next to this tank and doing that, and I start plopping it in, and you can see how much I've trimmed off. I have to do this every two weeks, so basically every time I do a water change, I have to trim these roots, and oh yeah, low tech, low maintenance, nah, -uh. not when you have frog bit to trim. <laughs> Next I turn on the filter, which is a complete disaster because it everything just comes out when I do that. But that's fine. I cleaned the filter. Still made a mess. So yeah, that's my tank maintenance. This wasn't the most far uh, water change maintenance. I mean, I could have taken out the toothbrush and done a bit more, but honestly, stuff like this, it takes a while to do. When you have an aquascape that's low tech, you kind of have to take it very slowly. It's taken two months to grow this carpet out the way it is now, and it's taken months for the Anubius to put out more leaves, so it's a very slow easy growing tank and it's just something that I can just relax and kind of like chill you know the shrimp are pretty chill the bed is pretty chill thanks Dianthus you're a cute guy <laughs> so yeah I, I don't know what else to say at this point I'm terrible at commentary look at me I'm just rambling now you know what just enjoy the rest of this video I'm I'm not even gonna talk anymore. I hope you've enjoyed this so far and sort of a look at how I maintain my tanks. Oh wait, I forgot to clean the glass. I did that at the very end, which is too late. Oh well, goodbye.